Hi, I'm Renee, and in this video, I'm going to list all quests on Minecraft, the Minecraft MMORPG, for those of you who didn't know, from worst to best. How do I decide the order of the quests? You may have asked yourself. I don't. I let Sockmore do it for me. Not long ago, he made a threat on the Minecraft forums called the Great Quest Flash, where he made a website where everyone could go and just click on their favorite quests, and by that he made a list that ranked all 134 quests on Minecraft 1.19. And I am now gonna do, with Suckbower's permission, a video about it, because it would be a shame to just let it die on the forums. Number 134, Potion Making, a level 15 quest that I had done over 80 times, because as a reward it gives an ingredient that is very useful for any Windcraft speedrunner, as it gives an insane amount of XP bonus, but the quest itself consists of grinding 8 red mushrooms and killing a boss, which is why it is so low on this list. Number 133, Cook Assistant, a level 4 quest that has you fetch some items that is literally the entire quest. Number 132, Green Skin's Trouble, a level 44 quest where you have to kill 16 orcs on 4 different places. Number 131, Green Gloop, a level 31 quest where you have to fetch sand and slime from mobs with very small spawn rate. Number 130, The Canyon Guides, a level 84 quest in the Canyon of the Lost where you have to lead an NPC through the canyon but he always gets distracted by other mobs, so it makes it very hard and irritating to get him to the temple at the end. Number 129, Clearing the Camps, a level 42 and another Levigar Plains quest, where you have to go and kill three orc leaders that are very hard to find unless you already know where they are. Number 128, Pit of the Dead, a level 23 quest where you jump into a hole, do some parkour, bath in some water and return. I actually thought this quest was fun, but it's on this place. Number 127, Infested Plants, a level 6 and very short quest where you just jump through trees and collect some plants at the end. Number 126, Lost Tower. A level 26 Nemrak twist where we have to find a tower and go through a little dungeon if you can call it that and kill a boss personally I like this one but it is one of the older quests number 125 Zeit Island, a level 55 ocean quest where you have to travel all over the ocean yeah that's it number 124 Ice Nations, a level 40 quest where you have to traverse between two Ice Nations and go on a ghost ship and retrieve a treasure from there. Number 123, Underwater, a level 8 quest where you have to walk a lot, especially when you have to go back for the pigman meat. Number 122, Elemental Exercise, a level 10 quest which is supposed to teach you about the elements in game but doesn't do a very great job at it. Number 121, The Lost, a level 85 quest in Canyon of the Lost, where we have to unlost several people that are lost. Number 120, The Maiden Tower, a level 51 quest which gave us Shirk Swamp, but not much else. Number 119, A Fighting Species, a level 64 gavel quest where you have to obtain a signature for a peace treaty from a troll leader Gorgu by basically killing him. Number 118, Crop Failure, a level 52 quest in Olex where you have to kill a giant slime in the sewers. Number 117, Hollow Sirene, a level 73 quest in which you have to kill the Hollow Sirene. There are a lot of quests in mid gavel where you just have to kill a boss. Number 116, Poisoning the Pest. This is a level 2, very short quest that basically only shows the animations at the point where most players have no idea what they should do on this server. Number 115, From the Mountains. This is another mid gavel quest at level 67. 
Number 114, Tribal Aggression, a level of 35 quest where you have to traverse between two tribes in the Mesa biome several times. Number 113, Enzan's Brother, undoubtedly the easiest quest on Windcraft at level 1 where you just have to follow a path to explore the Emerald Trail and the only purpose of this quest is to get you familiar with how quests work. Number 112, the Realm of Light. This level 74 quest, which takes place in an entirely new and huge dimension, was meant to be an epic ending to the Realm of Light trilogy, but sadly ended up just as a fetch quest. Number 111, Under Ice. A level 43 quest in Nesak where you get the second breathing helmet and find out about the Calamaro people living under Nesak. Number 110, Bob's Lost Soul. This quest, which used to be an epic quest a long long time ago, but has turned into a fetch quest that requires you to find two other players to help you open the tomb. Number 109, Lazarus Pit. A level 69 quest, nice, about the Lazarus Pit, a pawn that can resurrect the dead. Number 108, Death Whistle, a level 53 quest situated in the Olex Swamp, about a herb master, flower, and a witch. This sounds like I was starting some kind of joke, but I wasn't. Number 107, Cluck Cluck. A legendary level 23 quest where you are supposed to take care of a poor little chicken but instead decide to kill it and its owner is very mad at you. Number 106, Canyon Condor. A level 38 quest which requires a lot of walking and killing a condor at the end. Number 105, Grand Youth. A another level 69 quest which is about another Lazarus Pit, this time in the Wind Province. Number 104, Haven Antiquity. It's the level 73 quest on the Dead Island. Number 103, Lost in the Jungle. A level 62 quest in which you have to find a kid that is, well, lost in the jungle. Number 102, Stable Story. A level 34 quest in which you just have to kill a boss. But you get a free horse after that. Number 101, Troubled Tribesman. A level 73 quest in the Dernal Jungle. I completely forgot existed. Number 100, Eye of the Storm. An ultra long level 72 quest that revolves around this hand. Number 99, we're at the two digits now. The Thanos Vault. Not Thanos, but Thanos. It's a level 81 quest where you straight off steal from a dwarf king, just, ju just cause. Number 98, Forbidden Prison, a level 72 quest where you have to escape from prison. Number 97, Gravedigger, a level 20 quest in which you have to kill Sailoros' brother. Number 96, Arachnid's Ascent. A level 14 quest, you go up a mountain filled with spiders and collect some lava. Number 95, the wormholes. A level 55 quest where you need to investigate giant wormholes in the ground and you find out about the Groot slang. Number 94, the corrupted village. A level 26 quest about the corrupted village. Number 93. Reclaiming the house, a level 61 quest where you kill an orc leader that has taken over a military outpost. Number 92, from the bottom, a level 80 quest in the Thanos Baz Bazaar, 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 in the Thanos whatever, where you have to trade your way to the top. Number 91, Maltic's Well, a level 18 quest where you have to go into a well and fight a witch. Number 90. A Marauder's Dupes, a level 83 quest in which you need to find Northson's will in a cave that is really annoying to get out of. Number 89, The Shadow of the Beast, a level 54 quest in which you have to find Bigfoot using clues along their way and then kill him in the end. Number 88, Lost Royalty, a level 65 quest in which you need to get King's son back from some mercenaries. Number 87, 
Tunnel Trouble, a level 5 quest which unlocks you the fast travel between Ragni and Deathless. Number 86, Creeper Infiltration, a level 14 quest in which you find out about the mythical creepers. Number 85, Pirate Crew, a level 39 quest in which you have to solve riddles and find a treasure. Number 84, Craftmas Chaos, a level 30 quest in which you travel back in time and then to the future to kill a corrupted version of Santa Claus. Number 83, Temple of Legends, the ultimate level 68 quest for the Wind Province. You need to complete a lot of quests f from the Wind Province to be able to complete this quest, although in reality it's mostly just a fetch quest. Number 82, Beneath the Depths. A level 60 quest, which is also a treasure hunt, as it leads to Sarnfic, the oldest part of Windcraft build-wise. Number 81, Mushroom Man. A level 12 quest where you gather mushrooms for a crazy person. Number 80, The Fortune Teller. A level 97 quest, which is basically a parody of the Jack and the Beanstalk fairy tale. And it also has a dragon that looks far too similar to the dragon from a never ending story for it to be a coincidence. Number 79, Purple and Blue. A level 77 quest about the secrets within the Gilia Lake. Number 78, Canary Corps. It's a level 85 quest in which you have to solve a gas leak in a mine. Number 77, King's Recruit, the first, the tutorial, the level 1 quest King's Recruit, that is tutorial. Number 76, The Passage, a level 57 quest which unlocks you the passage between Troms and Pigment Ravines. Number 75, The Almec Room, a level 100 quest which unlocks the Tolrune Shrine and is also the only quest in game in which no one directly speaks to you. Number 74, Lost Souls, a level 66 quest in which you have to solve why a manor is in a magical day through a series of riddles. Number 73, Macabre Masquerade Halloween 2014, a level 21 quest which is basically a mini dungeon as you go into a cave and in the end you fight a boss. Number 72, Studying the Corrupt, another level 21 quest which unlocks the Lost Sanctuary dungeon. Number 71, Rise of the Quartron, a pretty confusing level 49 quest in which you have to talk to an elf for some reason but there is a cool robot at the end. Number 70, the ultimate weapon, a level 75 quest which is basically a parody on a fetch quests and it makes you just grind like 10 to 30 pieces of random items and then gives you the most useless dagger which you can sell for 7 LE to a merchant nearby. So definitely don't throw it away like I did, I did the first time. Also the number of items you had to grind used to be way bigger as you were, were supposed to get even 100 pieces of the same item back then. Number 69, nice. An Iron Heart Part 1, a level 49 quest in which you have to basically just kill an iron golem. Number 68, Dwelling Walls, a level 24 quest from Nimrakt in a house that has moving walls and you have to move them so that you can get out. Number 67, Jungle Fever, a level 52 quest in which you help Borid steal a stack of liquid emeralds because, it will, uh, because he says it will heal him. Yeah. Number 66, The Belly of the Beast. A level 82 and one of several Windcraft Vore quests where you have to save somebody from the inside of a dragon. Number 65, Redbeard's Booty, a level 61 quest in which you also go on a treasure hunt and it ends up with unlocking the Galleon's Graveyard Dungeon. Number 64, The Mercenary. Level 28 quest that starts in Nemrakt and you have to assassinate a bandit leader in the desert and you get your first fabled item as a reward. Number 63, The Sewers of Ragni, a level 5 quest and the first dungeon quest which unlocks the decrepit sewers. Number 62, Aldore's Secret Part 1, 
a level 76 puzzle filled quest about the elvish Alduri Valley. Number 61, Star Thief, a level 42 quest where you have to stop a guy that stole a meteor. You also get some info about the meteors that are all around Gavel. Number 60, Wrath of the Mummy, a level 36 quest that I remember because you have to give a pink wool to a bandit that guards a mummy tomb and then you have to kill the mummy. Number 59, Headless Hunt. A level 64 quest in which you have to free the souls from the Dullahan castle and he is headless, hence headless hunt. Number 58, Finding the Light, a level 71 quest which is the second entry to the Realm of Light trilogy and goes basically like this. You need something from an NPC, the NPC will give it to you but only if you get something from another NPC. The another NPC will give it to you, but you need to get something from another NPC. And like that, like five or even more times. Number 57, Desperate Metal. A level 86 and the first Corcus quest on this list, in which you need to kill several robots. Number 56, Masterpiece. A level 53 quest where an enthusiast draws a picture and when he's out of red he uses his own blood but you can sell the painting for 3 le in synfras number 55 acquiring credentials a level 74 quest in the levitus airbase where you are trying to get a passport for, for an airship even if it means going to the black market number 54 question mark question mark question mark a level 80 quest that isn't really a quest but more of a community event, it's the hardest quest in game that was solved in months from its release as it is extremely hard. Although to be fair as a quest it's quite boring as you have to look up the solution and it takes really long but it adds an interesting bit to the lore. Number 53, Fallen Delivery, a level 79 quest where you have to hunt down a male thief. Number 52, Frostbite. A level 48 quest which tells you about the life Theric Twain lived in the Ice Canyon and his mansion there. Number 51, a Sandy Scandal. A level 32 quest where you have to stop a big robbery uh, that is happening in Almush by getting clues from witnesses all over the city and then stopping them actually. Number 50, Recipe for Disaster. A level 96 quest where you again have to fetch items so that you can cook something but this time it's a big bit harder than the level 4 quest where you have to do the same. Number 49, Meaningful Holiday. It's a level 33 quest that dives deep into the meaning of Christmas and looks at the lives of the poor and you basically just have to get them something to eat. Number 48, Tower of Ascension. Now although this quest is level 40 you should complete it at about level 70 because it has even level 100 mobs that you have to kill and it gives armor that is level 75. In this quest you have to beat 7 floors each harder than the previous one and it's basically just a progression type level quest. Go into a room, kill some mobs, go into the other room and so on and so forth. Number 47. The Dark Descent. A level 24 quest that teleports you into a grey dimension where the boss of the underworld crypt is introduced and when you finish it unlocks you the underworld crypt dungeon itself. Number 46. The Hunger of Gerds Part 1. A level 77 quest where you are sent to investigate what Gerds are up to and you find out that they are just really, really hungry. Number 45. The bigger picture, a level 76 quest where you gradually shrink to the size of an Ant-Man and you try to get back to your normal size. Number 44, The Hunger of Gerds Part 2, a level 78 quest where you start off by helping Gerds get food and end up finding out there is someone doing horrible experiments on Gerds. Number 43, Reincarnation. A level 74 quest where you fight Bob's reincarnation in his tomb. Number 42. The answer to life, universe and everything. Dwarfs and Dogans part 1. A level 91 quest which starts off an epic storyline surrounding the conflict between dwarfs and Dogans. 
It starts off with a cool play by dwarves that shows Dogans as the pure evil, but then you realize that it is not necessarily the case. Number 41, Royal Trials. A level 98 quest where you become the new queen of the pirates through a series of trials. Number 40, Corrupted Betrayal. A level 52 quest with the origin of the Undergrowth Ruins dungeon explained and of course it unlocks the dungeon itself. Number 39, Aldore's Secret Part 2. A level 78 quest with many puzzles and an elf named Legolus. It also has two different endings depending on your moral choice. Number 38, Mixed Feelings. A level 87 Corcus quest where someone drugs you and you go completely berserk on a city while unconscious and then you have to clean your mess up. Number 37, Taproot, a level 62 quest which starts the Realm of Light trilogy and where you find out what happens to the decay of the Dark Forest. Number 36, Dwarves and Dogans Part 2, a level 92 quest in this quest you need to avert the, a dwarven attack on dogans by destroying their weapons. Number 35, General's Orders, a level 80 quest in which a general gives you the weirdest tasks and at the end you realize that it was actually a shapeshifter imposter. Number 34, Kingdom of Sand, a level 33 quest which unlocks you the sand swept tomb dungeon. You also have to break into a mansion in Remake and it has a soundtrack called Mission Win Possible. Number 33, Enter the Dojo, a level 89 Asian themed quest in which you have to go through a series of challenges. Number 32, Out of My Mind, a level 63 quest which starts with some kids giving you a random key and ends with you battling a gigantic carnivorous plant, you getting knocked out by an anvil falling on your head and then having to solve a puzzle to wake you back up. Number 31, The House of Twain, a level 49 quest about the Twain family. You have to go and retrieve a journal from their mansion. Number 30, When Excavation Side B. A level 46 quest and the shortest out of the Win Excavation Tetralogy. Number 29, Cow Fusion. A level 86 quest. Ever wanted to transform into a cow? Well, you'll enjoy this quest. Number 28, Win Excavation Site C. A level 55 quest on the Volcanic Islands. In this quest you find out when excavation is quite the conspiracy and you meet a model for the first time. Number 27, Dwarves and Dogans Part 3, a level 93 quest, in this one you try to prepare for defeating an ancient demon Garahath that a group of fanatics Dogans wants to summon. And at the end a war starts between Dwarves and Dogans. Number 26, The Hidden City. A level 88 quest about a highly illegal human settlement in Gal. Number 25, Heart of Levigar. A level 41 quest in which you need to repair Levigar's power generator with amazing puzzles, otherwise the whole city will die. Number 24, Deja Vu. A level 14 quest which deals with time travel on and all the shenanigans that come with it, like someone dying over and over again until you save them. Number 23, Shattered Minds, a level 70 quest which shows how Windcraft would look like if it was on drags, because it is, the entire light forest is rebuilt as what it would look like if you were on drugs. it has a half naked green and of course this room. Number 22, Fate of the Fallen, a level 43 quest which unlocks the Ice Barrows dungeon and tells the story of Theoric Twain. Someone who wanted to stop the corruption but corrupted himself, so he froze himself and the entire Nissag area to slow the corruption down. Number 21, when excavation site A. A level 35 quest in which we first meet the win excavation and we steal our first crystal. Number 20, recover the past. A level 25 quest in which you try to find out about the life you lived before you, your memory got wiped. Number 19, The Envoy Part 1, 
a level 83 quest which introduces Quarkus and the problems it has with the robot uprisings. Number 18, Fantastic Voyage. A level 90 quest where you go on a trip on your favorite water ship and you wreck it. You get stuck on an island and get very close to the Dern Dimension. Number 17, Dwarves and Dogans Part 4. In this level 94 quest we see the full horrors of the Dwarf and Dogen War and at the end we are sent to freeze the organs of Garahath which some Dogans wanted to summon by getting Vord. Number 16, Murder Mystery. A level 74 quest, a good old murder mystery. Number 15, Flight in Distress. This is a level 75 quest. You are flying on an airship from Sinfras to Deathless and it gets attacked by pirates. So it's your mission to deal with them. Number 14, An Iron Heart Part 2. A level 58 quest which tries to solve the mystery of missing people. You then find out that these people are being transformed into iron golems, unable to speak and only being able to do what they're told. Now it's up to you if you're gonna take a bribe or report the illegal factory. Number 13, Beyond the Grave, a level 87 quest. Ever wondered what happens when you die and respawn? Well after completing this quest, you will know. Number 12, A Grave Mistake, level 50, scary, spooky quest. Number 11, A Journey Beyond, this level 100 quest is personally my favorite quest as in it you get introduced to the Silent Expanse. It is dark, it is scary, and it borders with PG-13 rating with its brutal horror of not only monsters, but from the atmosphere you get when you enter the Silent Expanse for the first time. I just love it. And now, we have arrived at the top 10. Top 10, the Kira Hive. A level 80 quest in which you have to progress from room to room until you get to the last room and have to defeat Kira herself. This quest also gives some insanely good items as rewards. Top 9, Memory Paranoia. A level 67 quest in which you have to figure out the dark past of one Karatath family. Top 8, Win Excavation Side D. A level 70 quest. For a long time this used to be the longest quest in game as it is absolutely filled with conspiracies, puzzles and forces beyond your understanding. Top 7, The Envoy Part 2. The fight against the robots continues in this level 89 quest and it ends with unlocking the dungeon which if you do, you can stop the production of more evil robots. Top 6, A Journey Further. A level 101 quest and another one that takes place in the Silent Expanse. This one takes off exactly where A Journey Beyond ended and it ends with a pretty emotional opening of the Eldritch Outlook dungeon where you have to defeat the Overseer, the Eye of the Ultimate Baddie of Windcraft. Top 5, Misadventure on the Sea. Going back to low level quests is this one at level 28. You get kidnapped by pirates onto a ship full of secrets. You have to fight the big, the ultimate, the colossal rat. Get cannonballed out of the ship and play on a stranded island until Sea Skipper comes and saves you. Top 4. The Order of the Grook. A pretty obvious and a very well done parody on Harry Potter. You attend a school for wizards and witches. You can choose your classes and there are plenty of secrets to discover. Top 3. 1000 meters under, a level 95 expedition into the depths and the dangers of the void. Top 2, point of no return, a level 102 quest in which your soul separates from your body and you must do everything to get it back. And finally, top 1 quest is, drum rolls please. I started actually drumming with my drumsticks, but then the microphone got all messed up. Nevertheless, number one, top one, is A Hunter's Calling. This level 103 quest goes back and visits all the important quests from all, all, all the, of your journey. But this time, you are the bad guy. And it shows you what would have happened if you weren't there to stop the bad, bad guys, but rather join them. Well, this was quite the long video. If you liked it, then like it, subscribe, and see you in the next video. Bye!